that? We <laughs> Charity's provided her switch for us. Oh, dudes, thank you so much. You guys are so good to me. I'm just saying, you know. Welcome back, everybody, to Subassistance. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to put some lighting up outside. Uh, I mentioned in the last episode that we were going to grind to the uh, the cooking pot, or boiling pan, I guess it's called. Um, and we are, but I need some light out here. It's just, it's really hard to fight these guys at nighttime. I, I know I have the flashlight on the rifle, uh, which, you know, is fine, except for that I have to then use a rifle. If I, have, if I want to switch to the shotgun or something else, you know, then I don't have the light anymore. So it just makes sense for us to do that. Uh, so yeah, that's the main goal for today, and then we'll see, you know, how much time we have after that, uh, and what we're going to do next. Uh, so, let's go ahead, and the first thing we got to do is make ourselves a BCU extender, so I have made another ingot, because that's one of the ingredients we need for that. We also need to make a circuit board, so let's get that cooking up. Looks like we need four, uh, copper for that. Okay, and then what else do we need for the another BCU extender? Uh, just five scrap. Okay. So we'll wait for that. Uh, I've been uh, slowly cooking up the, uh, you know, the ribs and the chicken here. I got a, a couple of uh, cooked ones down there. Uh, last time I went out, I also killed another hog, and I had a piece of pork in the fridge already, so I made a honey glazed ham and ate that right before I started the camera. Uh, we are now at 96 on our health cap and 95 on our stamina, so it's climbing up there. We're just going to keep cranking out that can uh, stamina cap by eating all this good food until we get to the max, which is 125, and then, you know, we'll be a lot tougher. Uh, iron is, you know, we're short on iron, but we're making the best of that. I haven't, uh, I've, I've only gone out, I think, once maybe since I left the last episode. Maybe twice, I don't remember, to be honest with you. But it hasn't been a lot, and I haven't made a lockpick since then because I'm using all my iron to make these ingots that we need for everything. Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and make the range extender. Uh, now, we're also going to want to make two more lights, so we're going to need scrap, uh, this, and this. Oh, we just ran out of mass, so let's turn this on. And we'll turn this on to help balance out so we don't lose a lot of power. Uh, because I want to get two lights out there. And we also need to make a switch, though, too, actually. Um, how much does that cost? Oh, crap. That costs a lot. Plus another doggone uh, ingot. All right. Well, what we're going to probably end up doing then is moving this light out there. And I'll just make another one for in the house um, later. So, as far as the extender goes, let's grab that first. And um, we should be able to put it out as far as here. Can I put it? Oh, I can't. It probably wants to be on a wall, I'll bet. Okay. I don't like putting it here, but that that's going to give us the greatest range if we do. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let, let's let's just pull it back this way and put it right in the center. I mean, this is an armored wall. The chances of this wall completely breaking, and if it does, that the extender will still stay in place. Uh, and I guess what we'll have to do is. Uh, manually turn the lights on which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt but I mean I don't know we don't really have much choice until we get the switch going okay so I want oh darn it here let's go anybody coming by the way no all right let's try that again we ran out of out of range okay so what we're going to do is let's just put the light here and then pick it up again. Okay. Now, I want... Oh, there's a moose. I want one out here kind of covering this area. So where is... 
I'm not sure, you know, how much range these guys are going to have. So... Okay, yeah, let's just put this one here. And we'll turn it on. And then the other one I kind of want around on this corner. Maybe we'll put it here. Uh, whoops. Yeah, let's just put it right on the edge here. Anybody else coming? That moose is out there. Okay, let's get this out and get that light on. Yeah, visibility is, you know, especially when it's snowing or, you know, in the, or raining, it's really hard to see. Okay, let's turn our light off. Okay, see, that's not too bad, really. That's not too bad. Um, oh, we got some repairing to do. Yeah, I can, uh, it's gonna, that's gonna help a lot. It really is. And that's even without this light. If I turn this light on, then I have, you know, these are almost more like floodlights, and then this is more like a spotlight. That's gonna help a lot. Okay, so how much power does the, do these use? I don't remember. But we'll just have to, um, There's a rosehip berry. We'll probably just, I'll probably just keep them on at night, um, if I'm expecting an attack at least. And eventually, like I said, we'll make a switch, and then the switch will, uh, you know, we can turn them off and on the switch. And then I'll make another light here later on. In fact, uh, we just need 250 power. Yeah. Um, how much mass do we need? 50. Okay, let's turn this off. And that's not running. So how much is our power output now? Okay, so, well, we still have two thingies running, though. But if I turn one of the generators off, we'd still have 132. So with all four of those lights and the two lights outside, we're still, um, you know, in the plus. We're still in the plus. Okay, cool. I've been needing to actually do this for a long time now. But uh, this, this is going to really make it easier to see out here now. And I reckon these probably can take damage, so when we're out here repairing stuff, we're going to have to, you know, keep an eye on them, too. It's cold out here. All right, let's go grab our hammer and some materials and get that walkway repaired. That stuff is all eventually going to get upgraded to armor. Um, when we, <coughs> when we get around to it. Uh, let's put that in there. That can go in there. Uh, this can go down here. As can that, that, and that, and this. You two guys can go up here. You can go in there. All right, so let's see. Uh, we have everything we need. Okay, one, two, three. And then what else? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we'll craft our third light and put it back up where it was. Um, I've told you guys this before, but when I'm not on camera, I don't turn the light on in here because I can see well enough to do everything I need to do with the fires and whatnot. But when I do have the camera on, I like to have the light on so you guys can see better when we're here in the base. Let's put that there. And we'll put this guy back up there and turn him on. Okay. Uh, these lights actually light up a, a pretty decent area, uh, so it's it's pretty good. All right, now, uh, let's see. We were going to do some repairing, right? Yeah, let's put this down here. Um, let's put our coat on, too, because it is chilly out. Did I just hear... Oh, yeah, this is way better. Oh, our battery went out. Okay, let's, uh, well, here, let's get this fixed first. Man, even with my coat on, I'm freezing out here. 
I've debated whether or not to make the sweater. The sweater's going to give me one more point of cold protection, but it's going to take five points of physical protection away. And I just, I just don't think it's worth it. If if I'm like out in the Thule's and it gets this cold, you know, I'm, I I have heat packs for that. Okay, what's this look like? That's good. I can't get to those lower things there with the lake frozen, but they don't really. I don't think they take a lot of damage because, you know, these kind of protect them. Alright, do we have a damage anywhere else? Let's just kind of run along the outside here real quick. There's a little bit there, but not enough to worry about, really. What about that? Nope, that's good, too. I haven't had any attacks over here yet. Uh, I did get some attacks over in this area just because Charlie ran across the lake and decided to come on this side of the base. So I had to fix some stuff up over here, but it wasn't uh, nothing, you know, it wasn't anything major. Okay, so I think we're in pretty good shape repair-wise. Let's put our hammer back in here. I'm low on nails and low on, low-ish on boards. Um, let's, here, let's do this. Let's make boards until we have 80-ish wood left. Okay, that's close enough. All right, cool. So, uh, what's next? Looks like our crops are still growing. We probably need to fertilize them and water them. So let's do that next. Grab the fertilizer out of there. Got a little more fat in there to feed into both of you guys. And we don't actually need to keep this running. Okay, so still with one generator, we still have, we are in the plus with the power, so we're, we're good. We're good with that. Um, what was I going to do now? Oh, yeah, water. We're going to water our garden plots. Oh, look at that, you guys, we have a full stack of blueberries. Fantastic. Uh, we should probably grab a tomato, and we'll grab those blueberries, and let's check our... Our chicken out here. I, I butchered all the rest and then I have a new chicken here. Oh, he's in good shape. Here, we'll give him that and that. Uh, so I still need to find two more chickens, you know, when we go out and about again. Which we will do. Alright. So, let's get the ash out of here. Do you have... You know, you don't have any fat going on. Alright, so we'll give you two waters and... Uh, we'll give you that and that. Let's give you three waters. And you're probably going to need three waters too. And then we'll give you that and some potassium for fertilizer. Okay, these tomatoes are getting close. We'll give you the two waters is all you need. We'll split the rest of this and divide it between these two guys here. Okay, and you're going to need a little bit more water as well. Let's put that in there. Uh, we could probably eat one of these. Okay, so right now we're at 96 health. Can we eat that? Nope. Not quite ready to, to do that yet. Don't you attack me and then run away. Too much zigging and zagging there, man. Okay. So they got a a hit or two off on the walls. Nothing really visible that I can see. So that takes care of two of the three hunters attacking us for the day. Do I have enough stuff to make a breaching charge? We could go after Charlie today. What do we need for that? Oh, we don't have enough power and mass built up. The rest of this is easy peasy. Uh, if we are going after Charlie, we need to get going fairly soon, though. 
We're gonna we need to make another ingot re ingot regardless, so let's do that. Put that stuff back in there. Uh, no, that goes in there. Well, that goes in there. Are we over 50 mass yet? Or 100 mass? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, we need to cook up that water. This, you need a little more water too. And then I think everybody else is fully watered. All right, let's go out here and fill these guys up. Load up the stoves. That and that can go in there. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. How close are we to 900 power? We're a bit away. So, let's turn this back on to... And... Uh, do we have enough mass to make this? We need 80 mass. Oh, we're really close on mass. Okay. So we'll let that... By the time we have enough power, that mass should be built up to 80. All right. What else do we need for this thing? Six gears. And... We already got that. And a circuit board. So that's going to take a little more of our mass and power back away. Where is this? Not too terribly much, though. Okay. So put that back and that back. Goes down there. Look at that. We have 89 cotton. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, we need more bandages. Let's uh, let's make a minimum of five. Two, three, four, five. I'm getting low-ish on cloth. We might have to start killing some rabbits. I usually get enough cloth, you know, just from the wolf kills. <coughs> But it is kind of getting a little low there. Put that stuff back in there. This can go in here. All right, now can we eat this? There we go. Okay, that pushes it up to 97. And, no, oh, goodness gracious. You guys are just relentless, aren't you? Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Okay. No, you don't. Okay, well, that's all three hunter groups, so we shouldn't get any more attacks. And they all came on the same day, which is good, because then, in theory, that means I have, I'll have two days of grace now. Unless we go attack Charlie. <laughs> um, what time, uh, what time of day is it? It's kind of mid to late morning and I don't know we'll see if if we if I decide not to attack Charlie today then we'll just we'll go out and have a, a nice little winter looting session um here I'm gonna turn you on now just to get the mass sped up because what do we need again uh, we need 80 mass so let's get the 80 mass going first and then it might not take too terribly long for that to hit. Uh, we'll see. If it's if it's noon-ish, by the time I'm ready to make that, then we'll we'll go do it. If it isn't, then we're we're just gonna have to do it another time because you don't want to attack Charlie late in the day unless unless you're planning on staying there and fighting him off again when they respawn at night. Which you know, I've done that before. You can do it that way, but it's not necessarily ideal. Uh, let's see, we need six gears for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to need all these grenades to... Well, hopefully we won't need them all, but we might need them all. Okay, so we got the mass that we need. Let's turn that off. And, yeah, now we're just waiting for the power to build up. So, I'm going to cut the camera here. Probably just go harvest the trees on the island. And when we get enough power, we'll... Uh, to make that, we'll check the time of day and then... Oh! So much for not getting any more attacks today. Okay. 
Okay, are you guys done? For Pete's sake. Alright. Base... Yeah, we got a little bit of damage there on the... on the walkway. These taller walls are definitely doing a good job of protecting the... the inside of the base, though. Really good job. Okay, anyway, uh, where are we at now? We're 583. Both of you guys are running. Okay, yeah, I'm going to cut the camera here, go cut some wood, and when we get enough power to make the brick charge, we'll make a decision at that point as to whether or not we're going to hit Charlie or if we're going to just go out and uh, do an afternoon loot session. That's that goofy Bravo guy that always gets stuck over there. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, ooh, we got tomatoes to harvest. Uh, let's see, we should have enough power to make this thing now, so let's hit this. Uh, no one needs some gunpowder, dude. Not a problem. Okay, make the breaching charge there. Uh, we got our five nades. Let's put this back on. Hopefully it doesn't start storming. Uh, we need to put this battery in our gun, too, so let's go here, and do we just drop it in there? Yep, yeah, charge item. Cool. Okay, nice. Got it. Okay, let's grab this. And let's see, we got five health packs. Let's... Yeah, that should be good enough. That should be good enough. Uh, I would like some more bandages, though, actually. Four, five. So let's take eight bandages with this. All right, now, where's the sun at? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, here we come, Charlie. We're coming for you. Part of me kind of doesn't want to do this because now I know we're going to have two free days. But, I mean, you know, Charlie's got going to get have some really nice loot for us. They always do. Um, So let's just do it. Let's just do it. Screw it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'll do those repairs later. <clears throat> so we will hopefully get some grenades, you know, from their first couple of chests. Oh, you know what? Dang it. I didn't bring any extra picks. Well, let's 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 break in and see here's the deal. We'll break in, we'll clear the place. That's alpha over there. And if I, you know, need more picks, we just have to run back across the lake and grab a couple more. So that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll luck out and find enough grenades to just blow all the doors. There's a bunny. Hi, Chaz! Remember me? I'm your long-lost friend. Come to say hello. Some of these guys are not even here because we killed them. But there's going to be some inside. They're, they're not all gone. Do, 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 do. Let's get them. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going, man? Where'd he go? Did he run upstairs? I think he did. All right, let's loot these. Um, didn't we kill? You know what would be nice is if we could catch them coming out of one of those rooms. And then we could, um, get in the door. Oh. <laughs> nope, didn't quite make it. Still got one more guy. Where does all your dudes coming from? Didn't you send some after me that I killed earlier? Come here, Bubba. Oh, there's another Bubba.
Okay, that clears out the Bubba's. So, let's go back down and start on uh, the ground floor here. Did I... Okay, I thought I killed three to begin with, but I only picked up two, two satchels. So anyway, okay. Oh, look at that! We <laughs> Charity's provided our switch for us. Oh, dudes, thank you so much. You guys are so good to me. I'm just saying, you know, that's awesome. You guys, they've provided a switch for us as they knew we needed one, and they provided one. These guys are all right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, we. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, we didn't get um, we didn't get a grenade from that, but that's okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, we're not going to do anything with their mass and power, so let's just waste it. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop this here and drop this here. We'll have pl we'll have enough time to go back and make picks if if it comes to that. But two grenades takes takes these doors way down. Like it's only at 42. So yeah, we'll be fine as, as long as we can find a couple more grenades, we should be fine. Oh. Do we have any shells left? We don't. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, I'll go here. Maybe we'll find some in their crates. I've been using the double barrel a lot because it's just such an amazing weapon. Okay, what you got, man? Okay, oh nice. We got three ingots and, oh my goodness, three padded cloth. That is really good loot, you guys. Really good loot. No grenades, though. <laughs> okay, let's run up here. Take all of this, and take, oh, there's a grenade, okay, perfect, perfecto, there we go, okay, we have enough to do this, one, and two, all right, let's take this door down, There goes their power, or something. Something just turned off. And we're in. Oh, nice. We got shotgun shells. Oh, you guys, look at that. We have enough ingots to make our cooking pot. Oh, baby. I'm glad we came here today. I am quite... I wish they'd make some diving stuff and leave it in there for us. All right. We are on a roll, man. Uh, let's get this loaded back up with those shoddy shells we just got. All right, we'll take whatever's in here. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, what is that? Potassium. Let's see. We can eat these. I don't want to. I don't want to make another trip here. Oh, uh, what else is not absolutely critical? Let's just eat that. And. I've got over a full stack of this. Those aren't absolutely critical. Uh, I don't want to give up eight potassium, though. Okay, let's just see. Let's eat those. And eat that. Oh, we can't. We'll drink that and eat that. We'll take this with us and eat it later. Can we eat that? Yep. We'll take the uh, this and this. And, okay, last door. The cool thing, too, is all these grenades that we're using are their grenades, uh, the hunter's grenades. I haven't made a grenade in a long time, <laughs> so we're using them against them. That's great. I love it. Okay, here we go. 
And, oh, look at this. More padded cloth. Some plates. A bunch of nails. We need those nails, too. Uh, okay. What's going to fly all over the place? Oh, nothing. We got it all. Okay. So this is the end loot, you guys. 70 nails. A switch. That was the grand prize because we need it. <laughs> so awesome that they provided that first. Uh, 70 nails. We got the, the switch. We got some tomato soup. Uh, we got the six ingots now, so that we can now go back and make our cooking pot and then have all of our cooking utensils. Five padded cloth. That is just really, really good. Uh, five padded cloth is, is valuable as all get out. So, yeah, very happy with, with this raid. Very happy. There's never anything in that either. Okay, we are done here. Um, I guess we can grab a little bit more of that. There's nothing left in you guys, right? Nope. What is this again? Oh, uh, yeah, the two herbs we threw out. We don't need those. We do not need those. We already checked you. And did we check you? Yeah, we must have. Just double checking. I don't think that we... Let's run all their fuel out. I don't think we checked this. Or if we did, we'll... Yeah, we must have. Okay, that's it. Let's go home. Let's go home and make ourselves our cooking pot. And we will have all of our utensils. And then we can start making our own tomato soup. We can also make chicken soup. I've got those four pieces of reared chicken meat. And, I mean, we could even cut up one of the, the whole chickens to get even more of that stuff. But I don't see much point in doing that. I'd rather make, make the really good stuff. We'll just keep making it, you know, while we have veggies to make all that. It takes 200 power for each one of those dishes, though, but still, that food is just amazing. It's amazing. Okay, we are home. Uh, so, what do we need to make this? We need 1,000 power and 200 mass. So, I'm... Yeah, we're going to have to wait for that, obviously. So what do we got right now? Uh, 600. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit before we can make that just because of the mass. So I think, see, how's our time doing? I'm going to let the power and mass build up so that we can make this. And um, I have all the adhesive. We have plenty of zinc in here. And I'll probably just end up making that off camera. Uh because you guys see that I have all the materials for it now. And then, you know, then we'll be done with that. Um, and, the, you know, the, the getting all those cooking utensils is something we've need, been needing to do. And then, you know, I think, I think probably the next thing we're going to shoot for is uh, a wind turbine or two. Because uh, I'd like to get that going. Look at that. We're up to 100 uh, boards, too. Okay, we're up to 142 nails, so that really helped with replenishing our nails. These we're going to feed into the thingamadoodle. Uh, oh, yeah, let's put our switch up. So, all right, so if we're going to get an attack, I want the switch in a spot where it's relatively easy to get. So if we're going to get an attack, we're always going to have to... I usually go out this door. So why don't we put the switch... Um, yeah, let's put the switch here. Okay, and then did that. Okay, so the lights are on. Now they should be off. Oh, they're still on. Do I need to... How do I... How do I get those to work? All right, here. Let's let's do this. Switch that off. Switch that off. And then let's also switch this one off. Okay. Now, if I go over here and turn this on, Hmm. 
Is it because this only works for floodlights and not normal lights? I, I guess I assumed it worked for all lights. It does say floodlight switch. Um... Oh, I bet you that's what it is. It probably only works with these. Oh, that sucks. I kind of figured it would work with all of our lights. Eh. Eh, eh. Okay, well, maybe at some point in the future we'll put some floodlights up too. So I guess for now I'm just going to have to manually turn those lights on at nighttime. You know, and I can do that. It's not that big a deal. It's just it would have been more convenient and more... Um, energy efficient to have been able to use a switch for that, but that's all right. It is what it is. We got a full stack of those. Um, let's make, let's see here. No, yeah, let's keep those. Uh, we need another 13 uh, of the cordage. To, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we'll turn the rest into presto logs. Okay, let's finish offloading our stuff here before I let you guys go. Uh, that all goes in there. That goes in there. We're gonna have to make some uh, some more shotgun shells. We got a ton of rifle ammo though. Look at that. That's nice. Let's put half of that in here so we're not carrying it all around with us. That can go in there, and that can go in there. These, I, th uh, yeah, let's put the fertilizer in here. The ammo stuff can go in here. Look at the, look at the casings we have, you guys. That's awesome. I don't know if I've ever had that many casings all at once. It's a beautiful thing. Let's make sure you are top off. Okay, and let's see. We have this, uh, there, and then you can go there, you can go there. We have enough to make a lockpick now, which is good. Uh, but does this require... What does this require? Oh, that doesn't require any ingots at all. Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. This this actually is not that expensive, uh, at least not for us. Um, we'll probably end up making two of those. That's what I had in Season 1 was two of them. Okay, let's put that in here. Are we up to our free mass yet? Almost. Okay, so then we can feed all of this stuff... Um, in there when that's ready to go. Okay, let's make... Let's grab uh, this and this, and I want to make some shoddy shells. So, how about if we make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's just make ten. And then you... <laughs> that uses up pretty much all our gunpowder, but that's alright. That's what it's there for. All right, it's getting dark, so let's turn... Ah, oh, that sucks about that switch, but oh well. Let's turn these lights back on. Uh, Charlie could hit us tonight. I don't think the other two hunters will bother us for another day, though. Okay, we'll put that in there. We'll turn this light on, too. And we're actually drawing more power than we're taking in so I'm just gonna turn this on it's because we're also running this too but I want to get that fertilizer going this isn't running is it no okay so let's grab these okay that's everything there for produce let's just throw everything in there for the moment uh, we have, look at that, you guys. We have a full stack of tomatoes and then 24 more. Let's take these and just get our chicken topped off here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, you're making iron for us, aren't you? Yes, you are. Let's grab that, too. Um... Let's get the iron going first. Iron's always always takes priority over everything else. Uh, I ha I feel a, some tomato soup coming on you guys when when we get the power and mass ready to go. I sure do. Let's talk both of you guys off. Okay, so we need 
16 tomatoes. We don't have any any seeds, so we're gonna have to make our own. So that gives us 15 and 16. Let's rewater everything as well. Too bad we couldn't grow our own blueberries, but I guess they're pretty abundant in the wild, aren't they? Okay, fill this back up. Give that a hit there. Fill this back up, give it a hit. You need a couple hits, and you need a couple hits. Let's grab all of the fertilizer that we currently have. Oop. Finish filling you up. Get you filled up, and then we'll just split what we have with the rest of you guys. That's cl close enough. Oh, did those put? Yep. Those carrots just finished growing. Look at that. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so what do we have left? We got to get four things in here, and we have four onions, and three more seeds of something or other in there. So onions are, yeah, are still the lowest. So let's do, let's do four onions, and then maybe a potato and a carrot. All right, we might as well just put the other onions in here. Potato, carrot, and then we still have one more seed. So let's just do another potato. All right, there we go. The crops are replenished and in good shape. The chicken's in good shape. And where are we at now with power and mass? We're up to 900 power and we're at the mass. So let's grab this stuff here. And this gives us 20 mass. This gives us 38 mass. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Fill those back up. Our chicken's level three. Right on. Get that water cooking. Uh, do we need to drink ourselves? Yeah, we could stand to drink. Does that get us pretty much... Uh, yep, it does. We got two in and one 19 out. Okay. Put those up there. All right. Now, we probably are not low enough yet to eat this. Not, not quite yet. Okay. So let's get... One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, let's see. Let's make another. Let's actually make two more of these. One, two, one, two, one, two. And we'll go to bake and. Oh, <laughs> that just took 400 of our power. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Well, guys, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And like I said, um, as soon as I get the power and mass built up, we'll go ahead. I'll, I'll go ahead and make this boiling pan uh, because we have the mo the most important thing for it, which are the ingots. Compliments of Charlie. Charlie's really taking good care of us. You know, we, we might have to nickname Charlie Walmart or something. And then uh, I don't know what we'll do after that. Uh, the the next uh, item that we're going to work towards, uh, I believe, is going to be the turbines. And we'll probably end up just making a fourth solar panel for now, too. We'll, we'll probably eventually loot some more of those from the hunters. Uh, but I'd like to get four of those going and two of these going. We'll probably end up upgrading these, but I don't think I'm going to upgrade the solar panels because it's cheaper just to make another one, I think. I've been I've been told that, though. I don't know if that's actually true. Well, let me get, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Is it worth it to upgrade these, or are you further ahead just t spending the resources and making another one? Uh, yeah, so let me know about that. And, yeah, we'll probably make some floodlights at some point, and then that way we can actually use that switch. But for now, um, it'll just sit there and, and do its thing. So, all right, guys, that is it for this episode. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. What time is it? It's January. Okay, we are in January now. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.